Well, if you are wondering what the mess is you see before you, it is because I'm trying to get a Omas pen, a vintage one from the 90s going, and I had to let out some of the ink. quite a lot before it started working. So this is the Omas 360, which was created in the 90s. Um, Omas was sold off to the um, luxury conglomerate LVMH in 2000, and then subsequently sold off to a Chinese company, which then sold it off again to another Chinese company and ended up being sold for parts. The brand was sold to one company, the material to another, and the technology and equipment to yet another company. And the current company who holds the raw material, I, I think is ACS, ASC, Armando Simoni Club. OMA stands for Officina Mechanica Armando Simoni. I think that's how you pronounce it basically the mechanical workshop of Armando Simoni. It was found in 1918 and the Omas trademark was done in the 1930s, I believe. So this is from the 1990s and I have a sort of love and hate relationship with this brown plastic because it's not my first choice, but um, it was one that I could most afford at the time. And so I am going to try this with you now. I, I thought an Italian nib, an Italian pen, I should pair with an Italian ink just for whatever reason. Um, sometimes a lot of the Japanese brand um, encourage us to stick to their own inks. A sailor prefer that we use their own ink, for example. A pilot prefer that we use their ink. It's in a gold 14 karat, I think. Let me check, and it's medium, I believe. Now, if you look at that medium there, if you look at a bit of the oxidation there, because I left it a little bit too long in um, in water, I was I was soaking it because this came to me with a bit of staining. Um, the person who sold this to me, this is new when it was sold to me, never used, but he wanted to check that the nib is still working, and um, there's some staining, so I wanted to clear it and. Uh, I asked around as why uh, a gold nib could have this, whatever this is, oxidation. I mean, if it's gold, shouldn't, should this not happen? So I think the answer was that the gold is coated with something and it is the coating that oxidized. But I don't know if any of you understand what's going on in the nib. Could you post down below? It has quite a bit of feedback, which I like. It feels, I don't know how to describe this. This is my first vintage um, nib experience. Um, it has a lot of feedback, but not in the same manner that um, Sailor and Platinum has. So maybe this is the ink as well, I'm not sure. It's pretty wet ink. So, um, so 
So the holding as well, this uh, triangle here isn't uh, for everybody, but I hold my pen a certain way. With Lamy, you have that triangle section as well. Thank <laughs> you. 